Hello everyone, I'm Monsieur Mokalavar, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in France, dealing with a very small, tiny, mass incident, as some governments might put it. So right now, let's go ahead and suppress the south, and try to knock out the top, the north, the Calais region, because I definitely want their victory points, definitely their capital, that'll be the most important, as long as I don't lose, Paris will be okay, even though we don't have a lot of stability. Which actually is hurting us quite a bit, with uh, not res not intelligence but resistance. Uh, resistance is at one percent because I have zero percent stability, which isn't good. But you know, whatever. <clears throat> Regardless, yeah, I wasn't really expecting there to be such a uh, mass incident around here so soon. So, Henri Garo, do you have anything for us? Not really. Uh, I did have one subscriber or one person comment that I should rename a division, and you know what? I already did. Uh, I named it the 1st Regiment of Tierlor Tonkinus, which is basically supposed to be, like, from Indochina, which I'm not going to release Indochina yet. Eventually, I will, probably, because I don't want to have to deal with this. I might even make them, like, more of an equal partner, just because it's nice to have a global empire, a global monarchy, perhaps, too. But just to have someone in Southeast Asia that could, you know, push our ideas forward. In another part of the world, so that'd be good. Also, India is here. This is huge. Holy cow! It's at the end of 1936, and India is already here. Holy crap! That's that's all nuts. Under Ravi, UK, are you feeling okay? Oh, oh, they have a fallen government. Ooh, sounds like fun. Well, for us, not them. Even though we're not doing great ourselves. All right, so you don't need to go around. Take back Grenoble. Take all this territory so that it, so that they don't have it. Uh, for us, we don't have a lot of equipment. And one thing I did notice... Um, please stop doing... That. Get to the front lines. We lost our... Carrier. Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I... You know... Last episode was the first episode. I, re I organize this... Pretty well, maybe not the best. And now it looks like garbage. There you go. Um, select you guys. Give me one, two. Ah, uh, they took a few more screens. But you know what? I didn't get the carrier, and that's okay actually. That's actually okay that I did not get the carrier because that means I don't have to make carrier planes to make sure the carrier is still okay. That's actually okay with us. So. Like I said, we're going to hold the south as long as we can, while the north is going to definitely try to, you know, do the best it can up there. Um, definitely don't try to attack. Just defend if you need to. We have a massive deficit of guns, which is not ideal. But whatever. Hey, just don't lose Paris. Take one guy, come here. Yeah, just do not... Don't lose Paris, for the love of God. Uh, we're getting attacked. we got Paris is okay. We should be able to win right here, though. Um, just keep, keep holding the south, guys. Oh, actually, that's not bad. You guys keep taking all that territory. You, you guys... Oh, hold. Oh. You guys. Oh, my four motorized divisions actually should be able to push pretty darn well. Should be okay. Uh, oh, this is not Darkest Hour Hearts of Iron game. Because you can set up... You have to control everything in that game for your divisions to know what to do. But you can tell guys to uh, just, you know, hold. Or support attacks. Don't attack. Or don't move and attack. You can just do support attacks. Which is kind of nice, to be honest with you. Good. Keep it up, guys. You're doing great. Volunteers. Awesome. Ooh. Not enough manpower equipment to fulfill our garrisons. We're missing... Ooh. Oh, buddy. Oh, boy. That's not good. Um, I could use more guns. I could use a lot more guns. I already took off one extra thing of artillery, so... Uh, that's not good. Oh! Oh, oh, we have the tanks. Oh, good. Ooh, did they get tanks back, too? They might have gotten tanks. Doesn't matter. Go into Charles Hutzinger. There you go. And go straight for Calais. Just just go. Okay. Please, please, love a guy, go. This is nice. I'm glad we got those, cut those guys off. Um, I am going to risk getting encircled to do this. I really don't like these guys. Stupid, filthy communists. This is why we ban communism, so that they wouldn't do things like this. Uh, we have 77 political power. I might consider recruiting another... Uh, intelligence guy. <laughs> Intervention in the Spanish Civil War. I think I'm a little busy for that right now. 
I'd love to intervene in the Spanish Civil War. Oh, the Soviets are there. But uh, we're a little busy right now ourselves. Good. All that matters is that we can get Calais. Oh, look! Encirclements. Love it. Immediately do that. Do this. That'll be great. Um, yeah, not bad. Not bad. Could be worse. Uh, am I using any planes? Well, we don't have any fuel, so it doesn't even really matter. But we do have planes. Good. Do Northern Paris. I will buy some more fuel. Wait, who's using all the fuel? Oh, the army's using it. Uh, Romania, if you would be a great person, I could really use your fuel. Also, with intelligence, someone, oh, another one, another person told me that I should probably maybe keep an eye on Berlin and as well as connect it to someone else in Hanover, Thuringen, Saxony, Ostmark, somewhere close to Berlin so that they can build up the infrastructure or intel with each other. But for right now, I'm doing some intel on the communists while I'm still trying to defend the homeland. So the Kirshner is a German guy that we recruited for our agency. I'm definitely going to send him to Berlin. Because he's important. Uh, for now, I'm not going to research another guy yet. I want to use that so I can get more fuel for now. And we're going to grab it. Not from the Soviets because they don't like us. I'm going to get five more fuel from these guys because I want to use it to make sure that we'll be okay. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Glorious. You guys come right... Uh, you guys kill them off. The south is holding actually a lot better than I thought it would. To be completely honest with you. Kill that division off. Come on. The oh, they got deep. Uh, you know what? That's okay. Go get Dunkirk. So it won't even matter. Uh, hold these guys here for now. Awesome. Oh, there's five divisions? Yeah, well, good. Kill them. Actually, you guys come this way. Uh, do that. That makes it easier. And then you guys come here. Lille is what we need. Ah, uh, it's 1937, the beginning of the year. And, of course, France is in a civil war. Or, at the very least, rioting. Uh, some things never change. Good. Cut them off. Continue to cut them off. Just defend as best as you can. We will win this war no matter what happens. Oh, I have to march right on in there. Now, this does pose a big problem for us when we go to war with the Germans, because I'm going to need to make a massive army at this point now. Uh, kill off these four divisions. That's more destructive than these, this single one right here. Very good. Very good. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good about this so, oh, crud, about this so far. Good. Everyone come up here. And you know what? I need the tanks to come right here. That'll be good. Oh, look at this. Beauty. It is beautiful. You guys come right here. Do that. Cut that other... Ooh, division off. Do we have an upgrade? Not you. Not you. Rene? Rene. Yeah, become more offensive. Good. Say a bunch of bad words. So people are angry at you. That's what offensive means, right? <laughs> good. Very good. Oh, look, an encirclement. We are an attempt at an encirclement. You know what? Come down here so that we can kill that division off quicker. You guys will be okay. Resistance is growing. I don't like that. Immediately start attacking here as well. Lille must die. Kill off some Soviets. What's better than killing off some Soviets? National Spain's looking okay-ish. Oh, we got encircled down here. That's not good. Um, really not looking great. Oh, go there. Go there. Hold on for now. Hold on for now. Oh, we revised the Constitution. Very nice. Oh, hold them there if you can. So, next up, we could begin rearmament. That'll be important. But, oh, we have to repeal the law of exile. So, we just have the constitutional revisions, which give us more weekly stability for a year. So, we got to wait an entire year to remove a disjointed government, which is okay. We could do air focus, which I'm not going to, or naval rearmament. That looks okay. But, uh, devalue the franc. Uh, we already have no stability. That should probably be better to do now. Let's do that. So, while other countries allowed the currencies to become less valuable to help their economies, we have steadfastly refused to do so. As a result, our economy is being or is lagging behind others. If we want to become more competitive and weather the coming storm, we must not dismiss a devaluation of our currency out of hand, even if it would prove or would prove to be an unpopular measure. Minus five percent stability. I don't even have stability, so that's okay, right? Help kill them off faster. Like I don't care if you get back, get Dunkirk back. I need Lille. So they get no supply here. 
though some of our divisions are actually supplied very well. Oh, our deficit of artillery and infantry equipment is increasing. I really don't like that. Good. Kill them off. I don't care what happens in the south. You stop attacking. You immediately begin attacking here, though. Begin an assault. Awesome. Begin an assault so we can focus more on the south. Because this is a giant flipping mess. Down here. Oh, Disgusting. Uh, we got encircled right there. That's okay. You know what? So be it. We'll come down that way. We'll come over here and we'll come up that way. Oh, I cannot lose Bordeaux. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Good. If you can, kill them off. Casualty so far. This French Civil War has cost us 12,000 versus... Holy crud. 89,000? Nice job, guys. Well, that's not a really good job since we killed off our own Frenchmen, but... C'est la vie. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Kill off those Soviets. Radical Soviets. Oh, this is disgusting. This is really bad. This is really, really, really bad around here. Um... There's really no way for me to break through here. I might end up losing some of these, probably most of these divisions. I don't like that. I don't like saying that. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's a trade-off for this. Come on, hurry up. Good, they're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. They're done. Immediately, everyone come down here. Do that. I need to get to Bordeaux. So I need you guys... To come up here as well. You come up there to rescue that division and then swing left. You got encircled as well, Monteplayer, or however you pronounce that. You hold. Oh, my army's getting encircled down here. I hate that. 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 Keep moving, guys. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. Do not let them move. Do not let them move. Oh, oh good. Yes, yes. We didn't get any of our divisions encircled and destroyed. Oh, we got some guns back. We got some motorized. Ah. France is whole again. But then again, do we have resistance? This should all be core, so it should be okay. Ah. Oh, I even lost all, all that Navy. God. <laughs> We're going to start off really weak. Holy cow. Anyways, let's make sure we get our uh, intelligence. Okay, so. Uh, Kushna, come on back. I need a little bit of intel in. I like Brandenburg. I think this area would be good to do as well. Let's go to Hessian. You know what? We'll do double intel, perhaps. Ooh, can I do both of these guys here? That might be... Uh, maybe... Depending... Linguist, that would help her with... Ah, uh, throw her there. I don't see what happens. If I lose her, then I lose her. No, oh, whatever happens, happens. Intervene on the side of Spain. Um, I don't, I'm not planning on that. Less stability... A lot of volunteer work. Well, I think I can already send volunteers. But let's take a quick look at everything here. So, infrastructure, that's pretty important. Definitely need more guns, though. Hey, our deficit's looking better, though. So, it's 1937. I still want to make sure that we have an okay industrial base. Uh, don't do that. Do Bourgeon. I don't know how to pronounce any of this stuff. Bourgeon. Uh, do that, do that. You know what? Finish up this factory first, and then we'll lower everything else down first. That'll be good. All right. So, let's reorganize our army. These guys looking okay. They'd be doing okay. Coast Guards. Oh, I don't have nearly the army I need now. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, who's who? So you guys have a couple divisions. I might combine you guys together. How many divisions can I send to you guys? Because I still want to help you guys out. I mean, the Civil War spawned because we sent these guys over. Send volunteers. Just send these guys. Charles Hutzinger. Hutzinger, whatever. Good, they're gone. Put you under someone else for now. So, our main army is, well, less than 24 divisions. Wild. Absolutely wild. You guys come over here. You guys come over here. Oh, I'm in a bad, bad position. Holy cow. I'll put you guys in your own uh, Coast Guard front. That'll be good. Reinforcements will look okay. Garrisons, they'll do okay. They'll definitely do okay as well. You know what? So be it. I don't want rebellions, so we'll do that as well. Good. That'll be that'll come online soon enough. We have no naval XP. Oh, you know what? Let's stop trading or getting as much fuel. We don't need that much fuel. Colombia, thank you. I don't mind supporting the U.S. for now. Romania, that's okay. So that we can continue to build things, but 
can build more stuff, perhaps. I do want to train, though, a couple ships so and get some more uh, naval XP. So train and ruin my fuel supply. Actually, don't train and ruin my fuel supply. Spain requests aid. So, though the political situation in Spain has long been unstable, it appears that the severity of the conflict has taken the Spanish government by surprise. They have requested any aid we can muster to help them in their fight against fascism and urge us not to dally or delay too long in this critical time. It is doubtful whether the Republican government can win the current civil war without outside assistance, and though the victory of a democratic Spain would be a desirable outcome, according to some people, it is likely that providing this aid would encourage communist sympathizers in our own country. I just killed them. I literally just had a civil war. It, if they rebel again, that, that's garbage, man. They rely on us, and we must aid them at even our own risk. They get more war support. Um, Len, lease tension limit. <clears throat> we cannot risk our own stability. No, no, no. Especially since I have sent volunteers to National Spain. Oh, oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, and you guys just kind of hang out. You know what? You guys are already pretty good. Just hold. And how many... I can send a couple planes to you guys. Uh, send some fighters. I don't mind getting some air XP at least. Ah, good. The tanks have arrived. Can I put you in a different field marshal? Um, Leclerc? Oh, how have you pronounced that? I don't care if we took him out from someone else. This is more important. Good. Offensive doctrine? Good. Now, if we wanted to have a good time, I might try an encirclement. Like right there. So I'm doing this to get more army XP, probably, and some more air XP. Air XP is kind of important. Gotta shoot down their planes. I might end up taking out Iberia in the super long run. I don't know yet, though. I don't know. Uh, what are your divisions like? Oh, you're... Oh, goodness gracious. You are an organization. Oh, buddy boy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that hurts me when I see that. You know what? We're going to finish this battle first, and then I'm going to reorganize this uh, division. Give him the other template, which is actually a little bit better. Uh, this is what we're using. This is much better, though. Hmm. And we also want to make some scout recon planes too. Uh, can I afford any of this? I can support. I can afford that at least. We can smash them. Ah, a plane. We still still only have three research slots. It's 1937. Still doing this. Let's get some improved machine tools. I'll probably focus a little bit more. That takes until 1937. Holy cow! Sorry, my bad, my bad. Disperse industry, fighters. Let's see. Ah, yeah, yeah, good, good. So I don't expect another communist uprising for the rest of the campaign, since we killed them. But you know, you never know. The French always like to rebel. So go ahead <clears throat> and switch to this. Even though, really... You're throwing like, there you go. That's quite. A, that should be quite a bit better. Um, even though they look pretty weak, it just they don't have enough supplies right now, which is okay. That's okay. You guys should be able to hold. Give us a little bit more supplies. We need more guns, of course. That's pretty normal. I don't want to attack because the guys are pretty, probably pretty weak. Oh, but would it be okay? Can they pierce us? Oh, we're not even in the battle. No, they can't pierce us, which is fine. We should be, we should do okay there. Should. Do we have we do have northern northwestern Iberia. Good. Keep doing that. We got quite a bit of air XP, which is nice. Oh my goodness. Ah, the anarchists. Anarchist uprising in the Spanish Civil War. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um I would like to improve worker conditions, definitely. Can I do anything? Oh, I can go to Ooh, partial mobilization sounds like fun. Fascist demagogue. Democratic reformer. National integralist. Integralism. That looks like... That looks really good. What, where's integralism? On this thing. I want to say it's on the... Oh, it's over there. Ooh. Oh. Do I get anyone when I come, go this way? Unaligned. Constitutional monarchist. More daily political power and weekly stability. That's not bad. Okay, do we win? And 
Come on. I know there's two divisions. They can't pierce us quite yet. And I know our divisions aren't super strong. So go ahead and hold. They're going to probably starve and die anyway. So we have devalued the Franc. Next up. Uh, what are we going to do? Develop. Let's see. Oh, it takes us one, two, three, four to get down here. It takes us one, two, three, four over here. More stability. Develop the colonies. More compliance. I like that. Two civilian factories in every colonial state previously invested in. Oh, you want to wait to do that. Industrial expansion. Oh, you want to wait to get down here. Oh, goodness. Mm, how about we begin rearmament? I can use more military factories. The 20-year armistice, Marshal Foch, predicted in 1919, is rapidly coming to an end, and the world is looking increasingly likely to erupt into war in the next few years. We must be ready. So, I don't... What do we need? We need more guns. That's, is, that, is that it? Is that all we need, really? More guns? Good. I need way more divisions. Don't even, don't even bother with that. I need to throw some uh, engineers on these guys, though. Yeah. Let's let, let's let our guys just get a little bit more... Uh, Supply first. And it's mostly just infantry equipment that we really need. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we can make... Oh, converted battleship hull. I haven't taken another look at this yet. This probably is too heavy. No, Dunker class is better. That's okay. That's okay. Battleships are okay. I forgot to even look at this stuff. Didn't even really care, to be honest with you. I need all this stuff completed, which is going to take a while, which I don't like. Uh, that's okay for now. Hmm. Whatever. Oh, these guys are almost fully stocked up on good stuff. We need more guns. I'm going to get a lot more... Oh, we have a... Oh, that's plenty enough artillery. Make more tanks for now. Any more military factories? You know what? We're going to keep doing this. Make more military factories, make more civilian factories at the same time. Oh, God. Oh, resistance. High levels of resistance. Oh, 26%. Holy crud. Why is that? State victory points. Resistance growth. Hmm. So, we're looking at Syria. We want less resistance to us. Local autonomy. Minus 10%. I want harsh quotas. <laughs> oh, boy. Martial law. More resources, daily compliance gain. You know what? What if I declare martial law there? Does this, does this go down? 23.6. Ah, oh, Mexico's on fire. That's pretty normal. 23.6 goes down to... Oh, nope, nope. It went up. 25%. Hmm. Maybe not martial law, then. No garrison. That's a bad idea. Martial law. So the garrisons are... Oh, I do need... What about... Oh my goodness, my garrisons need stuff. Uh, do that. Definitely get the garrisons. That'll definitely help if we have more garrisons. And more infantry equipment going to our garrisons. Chinese United Front formed. Austria United voted to unite with Hungary. Okay, then. We need so much infantry equipment. Holy crud. I, I still want to make fighters. I still want to make scout planes. France? Not really easy. Hindenburg ship does that. Oh, it just did the cipher for Germany. Nice. Um, if we need another cipher, how about we choose Italy? There you go. Completed. Awesome. Now, I could do more tech stuff or, you know, spy stuff. I don't think we're really in a position to do that yet. I, I don't have enough of anything, really, to use yet. I really want to wait. You guys should be able to smash them easily. Good. Resistance occupation. I'm probably doing this completely wrong, to be frank with you. Syria. Oh, oh no, it's Lebanon. Oh, I'm pretty close to each other. It's, oh, the modifier's not active. Thirty percent. 
This law will not have its effect until all garrison needs are fully satisfied. Oh, so, really, hammer home on that. Do low, do low, do low. Just give me as much infantry equipment as possible right now. I really don't want to do this, but there we go. That's probably a bad idea. Ooh, armored cars. And I do know I can change the division for the template that we use for our garrisons, but I can't exactly do stuff about that right now. You know what? Give me more infantry equipment, too. I hate doing it, but I think this is what we're going to have to do. Oh, yeah. Just go to one. What is eating up so much this besides garrisons? Deficit? Oh! National Spain could war on everyone. So... Ah, oh, my forces are coming back. And now we have Carlos here. You know what? I might just support these guys. Uh, you guys don't like us. You guys don't like us. You guys kind of like us, but we don't really like you that much. Popular Front. Good, good, good. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? Can I send her to lower resistance? Propaganda. Boost ideology. Root out resistance. Yeah, let's do that. Let's send her to Beirut. Ah, begin rearmament. Good. Defense focus. Ooh, develop the colonies. Uh, more compliance actually sounds pretty good right now. Even though more stability would actually help us probably better. So, develop the metropole. Our first step in rebuilding our industries must be to improve our industrial base and our continental holdings. And, yes, yes, I know we've already did the cipher for that stuff. Intelligence resistance. So, Lebanon. So, using our spy there. Oh, something else happened. Do we research something? Maybe not. 34%, that's pretty good. Uh, well, that does help a little bit. I hope they don't rebel against me, but you know what? To be frank with you, I'm still kind of learning this at the time of this recording, so... It shall be what it shall be. Let us... Oh. Oh, I can only send one division. What happened to my army, then? I can only send... Well, you know what? That just cuts down on the supplies that we need to send them. Thank you. Planes. Do you have an air base? 50. Oh, they don't even have planes over there. Don't waste planes, then. Trade. Thank you very much, USA. I appreciate it. I could train for more naval XP, too, at the same time, though. What the hell happened here? Oh, wait. Did I get the Navy back? Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm going to deal with this, like, off-screen. Just... You guys train. Everyone else is going to hold. You a bunch of weirdos. That's it. You guys are up there, which is good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Did we get the airbase? Oh, they did. Nice. I can send 50, which is fine. Chinese United Front. So be it. So what is the UK doing? They had a fallen government. Oh, my division arrived. Improved machine tools. Very good. 1937. Let us grab... We could grab more radar. Let's get, let's get some of that. And now we have construction too, which is awesome. Um, I definitely want more of that. Artillery. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I did go ram battle plan in this campaign. We'll see how that works out. I want to do more spy stuff, but I definitely need more, like, of military... Just more military stuff, so. And where did that division go? There you are. So who do we want to kill off first? How about we kill off the anarchists? Actually, you know what? That's not a good place to go. You come right there, and you cut them off at Tortosa. Tortosa. Some might tell you that sometimes anarchism isn't compatible with monarchism. Hmm. Oh, and I just finished off my French coffee. Hmm. Tasty. Good. Oh, nice. Let's get at least a little bit of army XP here. A little bit of air XP. Japan has gone to war with China, but what else is new? Still got high resistance in some in a lot of countries. And that's just because we need more guns. That's pretty much it. So we can do our garrison stuff. Oh, 
Well, Japan's on fire with China, but India is been doing all right. Oh, what can I do here? I'm. I might need an African section to garrison this stuff. Let's let's try that. All right. Oh, the tanks are up here. Not bad. Interesting. Uh, could you just go to Barcelona? Are they dead? No. Get a Girona. Just kind of trucking on to Barcelona. Holy cow. Nice. Very good. Take the airbase if you can. Okay, so not enough manpower of equipment. This is getting better. The resistance is going down. Maratania, which I hear still practices slavery, is doing okay. All right, I feel I'm. To be honest with you, I'm feeling better about this right now. Compliance, of course, went down. What happens if I go to civilian oversight? That might be okay. We use less of this. There's l way less resistance. The compliance. I don't want the compliance to go down too much. Let's see what happens with that. So with you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to. Uh, oh, I kind of want to do some anti-tank. But land doctrine. More max planning. That's okay. With this in mind, I'm going to keep you there. I'm going to put you all right there, though. That'll be good. And we will end the episode very soon. I want to see if we can wrap up at least a good chunk of the Spanish Civil War. What are your stats like? Organization isn't bad. It's not great. It's not bad, though. Help them out. Thank you. Please come here. Thank you. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Are we still fighting here-ish? There's no enemy plane, so... Ah, develop that area. More, Slightly more stability. Let's grab some bombers. Ah, King Edward VIII empowers the king's party. Interesting, interesting. Oh, wait. Oh, I forgot. We still have a focus we could do. Invest in metropolitan France. Ooh. Auto routes. Develop the colonies. Uh, before we do that, do we want to be aggressive or defensive? More attack. Okay. We could do this for more armor speed, which will probably be actually extremely helpful. We can produce more planes. Close air support. Mechanized focus. Air ground cooperation. Flying artillery. More ground attack. I love that one. Because this just gives you blueprint bonuses, basically, for the most part. Eh. Methodical battle. Ooh, 200%. Nice. Firepower kills. Ooh. Infantry equipment. You can produce more, which actually we could really, really use. Fortifications. Alpine forts. Special forces capacity. Oh, we could extend the Magnet line. Hmm. Create two divisions. Army reforms. I like that, but... Extend... I might have to extend the line. I do like, though, the production of infantry equipment and towed artillery. Ooh, this is tough for me. Because you can always get the land auction eventually. It depends what you want to do. I want to be pretty darn defensive in the early part of the war. So you know what? I usually don't like doing this, but I'm going to go defensive. So we don't have to do this immediately. But we can wait a little bit. I'll develop the colonies first. So, our industrial heartlands in Europe don't have the population and resources to sustain a large industrial expansion. If our economy is to be competitive with the rest of the world, we must utilize our colonies. And we get more compliance, which is, I think, pretty good. But, unfortunately, that's all the temper that we have today, my friends. If you like the video, consider leaving a like. You know, check out my Discord uh, link in the description below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we really try to get enough guns so we can make enough divisions. Thanks for watching, guys, and hope you have a great rest of your day.